What's up, everybody? It's uh, Wild High 77. I'm back again. Uh, sorry about my last playthrough of uh, Fallout 3. I little did I know the audio was not working in the microphone of my headset, and unfortunately, I had to break down and buy a new one. <laughs> so the uh, audio clarity in that episode is is destroyed, and I've actually given thoughts to maybe like redoing the audio, but it, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, I may just leave it alone and play on from there, but I've got the impression and feeling, you know what, while I'm playing Fallout 3, I kind of give hour-long sessions, and I'm no longer doing the Breaking the Fourth Wall for a couple months uh, podcast. Uh, taking a couple months off to restructure it and everything. I will be bringing it back, but... Uh, the thought had occurred to me that I could simultaneously do hour-long episodes of Fallout New Vegas, as well as continue my kind of Let's Play, but play through a Fallout 4 all at the same time. So here we are today, doing the first uh, Fallout New Vegas. I'm going to start a brand new game. Let the intro play. And see how we go from there. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. 
what seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Now, a lot of people argue that this game is, like, the best of the Fallout franchise as far as, uh, when it came out for, uh, Xbox and, you know, PlayStation and all that nature when it was no longer just a computer game. You know, there's obviously the arguments of, uh, you know, the old school Fallouts, like Fallout 1 and 2, you know, and stuff of that nature, but, you know, um... Some people say Bethesda doesn't do as much justice to the Fallout franchise as Obsidian did with this game. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Just go with what we know. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. Um, I will obviously try to make him look a little bit like me. And we'll go with that. Customize though. Actually, the face itself is fine. Yeah, that's all fine. A little older hairstyle. That's about as close as I'm going to get. Hair color. That's about right. Facial hair. Honest Dave. <laughs> Still looking, still looking. It's 
think we'll stick with uh, the rough beard. Close to what I have, I don't really have something as big as the uh, survivalist. Yeah, that'll work. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff Yay, we got most of it right. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. I think I had a trip like this back in yeah. the 90s. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Yes, it is. I don't want to be doing this stuff forever. Looking good so far. Yeah, I made it here. Come on. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. Love to. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. As soon as you're done talking. Thank you. Alright, I'm sure everybody who's ever played Fallout before knows what the special is and what it does. I shouldn't have to run through too much of it. Definitely interested in that. I want my endurance up one. didn't affect your charm none. Good. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter in a big horn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Sure. See if your dogs are still barking. I still want to know why I'm sitting here completely in my underwear. Never understood that about this game. Like, what were you doing while I was out cold? All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Cat. House. Shelter. Night. Dream. Bandit. Stab. Light. Dark. Mother. Caretaker. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Yeah, I don't agree with that. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I strongly disagree with that. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'll agree with that. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Very I disagree. charge in to deal with my problems head on. Strongly disagree. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Broken chain, a chemical reaction, shadow in a door frame. I'm gonna say a chemical okay. reaction. How about this one? Uh, I see a ship at sea. Last one. Uh, a light in the darkness. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. I'm suffering a head wound. And you think I'm supposed to... The problem is, is I'd love to have energy weapons, but... Speech needs to be up. Science is cool and all, but I think I'd rather have my lockpick or repair skills up higher. Not sure which. I, I gotta have explosives because of the first part of the game. Even though I'd rather have, you know, like, lockpick and repair. Um, or barter, really. Actually, with the beginning of the game, I think I'd rather have barter. Yeah, I'll go with that. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Really? Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Ah, uh, yes, I get to choose two traits. That's right, so, uh... Built to destroy. The flamer that burns twice as bright burns half as long. All weapons have plus three chances to critically hit, but equipment conditions decay 15% faster. Uh... 
God, I know this would be one of them I would want. I go with that. All right. All right. I guess that about does it. <coughs> I guess it does. Me. I'll see you out. Well, I'm not leaving yet. I've got to raid your house. No offense, but you got some cool shit in here. Shit I am going to need. I don't need a paperweight. I'll need books. <laughs> Nothing in the chest? Nope. I will take the pre-war book. Take the knife. Take the ammo. Take the food. Take that stuff. Take all that stuff. Got my first bobby pin. Sugar bombs. Don't need the pork and beans. I'll take your food. Take more sugar bombs. And the box of detergent. Take your box or your bag of yeast. Braxo cleaner. Bedroom here. Nothing in there. Take your cigarettes, cause I could sell that stuff. Only interested in the pre-war books because they actually have value. It's in Fallout 3 that they're, you know, useful to the game, but... Oh, no, 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 not ready to go there yet. Uh, don't want to take too much shit. I can always come back. I'm just looking for in particular things. Take the medics. Blood pack. I don't care about the empties, but I'll take the good ones. I don't have enough to repair it, so I'll come back for that. Take that because it's got value. Magazine and reading glasses. I believe Four Eyes was one of the ones I took. Anti-Venom, Stimpak, Radix. Open gun case. Take all that happy stuff. Don't need that crap. I think I grabbed everything I can out of here. And he gives me the Pip-Boy and clothes. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack of modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I make no promises. Yeah, I'm not doing the hardcore mode. I've never been one to do the hardcore. I know a lot of people who do, and, you know, power to you. To kind of try to keep track, especially with trying to do, like, a Let's Play, and, I'm, uh, you know, with these le Let's Plays, like Fallout 3 and New Vegas, I'm trying to do, like, 100%. And... To do that, I don't need to know all that stuff. 
To do that would be great. If... So I could see right, right again. Alright. To do that would be great if I wasn't trying to 100% the game. Because I'm attempting to 100% the game, I'd rather not... Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. How'd you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. You know those men who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. How'd you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Uh, anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Goodbye. Happy trails! Alright, so that's the robot who talks a little bit like Roy Rogers that dug me out of the grave. Always a nice thing. Alright, so that is stealing and I'm gonna play good karma for now. Go in here. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If I didn't ask you. Caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Uh -huh. Show me what you have for sale. Can do. Now I'm doing this on purpose because I want to get rid of my miscellaneous that I picked up. You know, uh, the box of detergents, the carton of cigarettes, the empty syringes. Also, we'll never use the anti-venom or the, uh, that, 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 that. Really, we'll never use that shit. Never use that. Don't need that. Keep those. Anything else? I don't need the knife. What do you have that I could use? Energy cells. Good, that's good to the uh, gun that I have. We'll go with that for now, and I still get some money out of it. So, yay. Another satisfied customer. Know anything about the, the people who attacked me? New Vegas type. Typical city. <coughs> he had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. All right, I'm not going to bore us with a whole bunch of lore of asking if he's ever been to New Vegas and stuff of that nature. We're going to go ahead and move along. So, I'm supposed to go over in here. Neat thing about this is if you remember a lot of uh, Fallout 3, a lot of places didn't have electricity, but here does. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okie dokie. So like I was saying, like there was no electricity in uh, the Capital Wasteland, but here in the Wahab uh, Mojave, because of Hoover Dam, you notice that everything does have power. Which is kind of nice. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. There we go. 
This is That's the right idea. Look down the site. Try crouching down and staying still. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Why not? Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. All right. I forgot I can't run. <laughs> it's not Fallout 4. I can't press buttons to run. She's got a nice ass. Uh, I guess she heard me. <laughs> See her stop real quick. Now, it's, even even the 360 versions of these games, uh, beautiful for what they were. I mean, I, Fallout, even in the, the uh, Bethesda versions, are fa infamous for their uh, glitches. But a lot of the artistry really, really helped you feel like you were in a post-apocalyptic world. You know, and uh, the background, the scale, the just the simple size of the maps... I've always been impressed with them. I, I I can't praise enough of the Fallout franchise. But Okie dokie. Behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. All right. So we sneak. I could pickpocket her, but that's probably not a good idea. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. I've got to see him first. Do I not have vats yet? Oh, they see me. There we go. Did I hit him, I hit him. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That's one. That's two. Search them, take their shit. I can stand up again. See? You're getting the hang of it. That's what There's I do. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure, I'll come Shouldn't with you. take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Let's do it. Let's go shoot shit. That's the fun part of the game. Really don't like the varmint rifle, but I don't want to waste the uh, ammo, the energy weapon yet. They're the uh, laser, the laser pistol. Also, this is like one of the quickest ways to like level. Okay. Uh, I gotta get used to using this controller to play it. I'm used to playing it on the 360. I know, I could have searched those geckos. I still can. I can come back and look. That dog don't know how to shut up. Like you done. I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Okay, my reputation went up. And now we talk to Sonny. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Yeah, sure. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. That's what I did One it for. Thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? and a brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. All right, so we have completed 
most of what they want. But surprisingly enough, we're already over time. So I'm going to go ahead and just check the stuff over here. Check the box. It's empty. Empty. Nothing else around here of interest to my knowledge. Yeah, okay. So I know, like, the school is one thing, and... See, I gotta go here and then walk up. I think I'll go ahead and grab the first uh, snow globe. In this game, it's no longer bobbleheads, it's snow globes. Uh, there is a lore reason behind it. The bobbleheads were only released on the East Coast, where the snow globes were uh, more destined for the West, Midwest areas. Which is why in Nevada, they're, you know, snow globes. Although it doesn't totally make sense to me, because I don't understand why snow globes, uh... Would be the main focus of, like, you know, profits for a place that doesn't get snow. But, you know, what do I know? <laughs> uh, so... The hell? Barking rad scorpion. See, this is the glitches I'm talking about. For people who aren't familiar with the uh, Fallout franchise and their infamous glitches. <laughs> so. That's right, there's bloat flies up here. As long as I stay still, I should be able to take them out one at a time. Except for if I do that. Surprisingly enough, that blowfly really didn't care. Okay, that sucked. There we go. A little hole for that sucker. Alright, two more. That's what I'm talking about. Finish them off? No. Damn it. Yeah, the aiming in these older Fallout games is atrocious. Quite honestly, comparatively to uh, other Fallout games. That sucker took off, so I guess I don't have to care. Oh, wait. He's all the way over there. Can I hit him from here? Nope. Got him. That's the way you do that. <laughs> Alright, so I came up here for a plant. Which is right there. So that's the uh, first piece I needed for... for the quest, and then I also came for the first snow globe, which is the Good Spring snow globe. <laughs> Just like the same deal with, uh, with the, uh, collector's editions of, uh, of the, uh, stuff in, in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 with the, uh, snow globes that you could turn around and, uh, collect them and they build up certain uh, certain uh, attributes and stuff of that nature, I believe the snow globes work the same way. Uh, I've never collected all the snow globes. I really only know where like two or three of them are. You looking to buy so, some supplies? yeah, I got some stuff to sell off to you. Don't need the duct tape. Or the gecko eggs or the gecko hides. Don't need to blow fly meat or the gecko meat. Really don't need the purified water. Because again, I'm not playing, uh... Alright, so with that... What kind of 
Arm yeah, okay. Five, five, six. Go with that for now until I get some more stuff. Alright. I remember in the first part of this game, it's really rough to come up with uh, ammo, so... That's why, like, I'm picking up shit and I'm just automatically selling it. Uh, because... I want to make sure I don't run out of what I need... When the time comes. Now, I... I could end the, uh, the episode here. I probably should soon. Uh, because I don't want to go too far over time. Or wait, no I'm not. I'm not over time. Never mind. I'm sorry. I looked at it wrong. <laughs> I've got another half an hour. I thought it was later than what it was. Now with these, you could just... I'm not mistaken, you could just stomp on them, but for some reason I'm not stomping. Ugh. Oh, the movement of these things sometimes. Take your legs. So, okay, here's the route that I need to complete the quest. But while I'm at the school, I'm gonna go ahead and go in here, because I, if I remember correctly, there is some good shit. Uh... Including a magazine. And of course, some more things to kill. And we can always use the experience. Hi. Oops, missed. Now, come on. Itchy trigger finger. Come on, load, thank you. Is that it? Is that all of them? Take the manis eggs. Foreskin, or whatever it's called. Now we search around. Open the locker. I'll take that shit. Alright, that's empty. I don't... See, on my screen, we're uh, running this through Twitch right now. I have broadcasting and how many viewers I have watching across where all the dialogue would be. Like, on your screen, you see, you know, open, locker, empty. You know, and to me, I see open, locker, but the broadcasting uh, thing sometimes does get into view and in the way of being able to see whether or not it's uh, empty, full. There's my magazine. Toolbox has got a plunger. Got some bobby pins. We're gonna go ahead and up. Oh, lock pick's not strong enough. And neither is my science. So again, this is a spot that I'll have to come back to later on. Bobby pin box, bobby pin box. Always useful in the beginning. Box of detergent. Some shit in there. Some Braxo cleaner. Tin can. Don't really know why I picked up the tin can, but, you know, right on. Another Nuka Cola truck. More shit to sell. I can put my gun away. We're gonna head back out to Good Springs. Now, from this point, I'm just gonna fast travel to the Good Springs source. Which is and should allow me to complete the uh, intro quest by talking to what's her face and learning how to cook shit. 
Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. You didn't tell me how to do it. I'm just... Okay. So, we click A. Or X, rather. And then A. And I cooked That's it. That's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. Uh -huh. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Yeah, we can't have the bartender cross at you. She might spit in your drink or something, right? Alright, so we're supposed to go back to Good Springs. She'll walk. I'll fast travel. Because I'm lazy like that. We got Stinky Pete here for anybody who's familiar with... Uh, Hey. Toy Story. <laughs> but we'll go in here and we'll... I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. I can go kill him. You want me to go kill him? Even. I'll go kill him. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. All right, I heard there, overheard your argument. What was that about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. You think? It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Hmm. All right, never mind. I want to talk about something else. I'm tracking some down some people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did my attacker say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why's that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So where were they heading? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Alright. Want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Yeah. Alright. Goodbye. Be careful out there. Always. So I don't think I'm high enough level, but we'll try it. I fixed it. Feeling thirsty? I... 
I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Now, see, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I can't. I'm going to try to see if I can't get more money out of it. Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Now, how about spend... All right. Thank you. So we had our first successful speech chest. And now we're going to go and check out this guy who's hiding up in the gas station. And that gets started on the final quest of gathering people together to defend Good Springs against the Powder Gangers. And saving this guy's worthless ass. Plus there's things up here to grab, so, you know, why not? Poseidon Energy. Yeah, instead of Red Rocket, it's all Poseidon Energy. Instead of Nuka Cola, it's Sunset Sarsaparilla. Which, I mean, you still find Nuka Cola out here, but it's the uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. That's close enough. Who are you? What do you want with me? I'm not the enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan. You know how to play? Did you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I can handle all of them in a gunfight. What are you gonna do about the Powder Gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around and see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. <laughs> Excuse me, boss. Duffel bag, plenty of shit in here. And floor safe, which I still cannot pick. Open crate, take the sunset sarsaparilla. Open crate, take the sunset sarsaparilla. Open crate. I'm not overloaded yet, but surprisingly, we can go get the hell out of my way. I don't think there's anything else really of interest in here. I'll go ahead and start... Walk back down. To, uh... Talk to Sunny Smiles. Which is, like, the worst name. She's a cool character, though. I wish you could, like, actually, uh... You know, permanently pick her up. As a uh, companion. Maybe you can. I don't know. Um, I've never done it. I usually, when I run around yeah. with a... You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah, I've got some shit yeah. to sell you. Take that, take that. You can't have that, but you can have this. You can have this. This, 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 this. Bananas eggs. The four legs. The trucks. The plungers. The shot glass. Cans, turpentine, and wonder glue. Don't need the healing powder or the noodles of pork and beans or the rad eggs. Alright, let's see what you got for weapons. Don't need dynamite. Got plenty of that just for the beginning parts of the game. Could buy a shotgun. Damage five. Single shotgun at that. And 
the leather armor. Our shotgun rounds. Oh, there they are. Anything else? Okay. I'll accept that, and that's the first time I actually paid him some money. Take it easy. Yep. I'm going to get out of my way. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put on the armor I just bought. Rather than the jumpsuit. I got my laser rifle, my recharger rifle. A shovel, which means I can go back to the graveyard and dig up some graves. And a single shotgun. Still going to stick with the varmint rifle for now, though, but... Howdy. There you are. Sticking around. I'm going to help Ringo take on the powder gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know it's tight. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a ship. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra hope. All right. I'll so now I go and talk to everybody and try to get them all on board. Howdy. Too dangerous. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow your Alright, let me see here. Do any of my magazines. Science plus 10. Medicine plus 10. Alright, so it looks like I'm not going to get him on the side. Howdy. Yeah, we talked already. Excuse me. Oops. What do you got here? Trudy. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Of course I do. Should help me take down the powder gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. All right. Well, good. Explosives can now be 25. So I can work that out. Get that up to 20. Get that to 25. Bring up my speech to 45. I guess I better bring up energy weapons a little bit, too. First thing I'm going to choose is Swift Learner because it, you know, just gives me more experience points with the shit I do faster. Which levels me up faster, which is always a good thing. So we're going to go ahead and come over to hey. Pete again. Howdy. Told you before. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Okay. You were easy. Yep. Yep. I still got to talk to Doc Mitchell and this guy. <laughs> Where you at? There you are. Howdy. You looking to buy some supplies? Need supplies to fight the powder gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Let them take over to town, then I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. 
I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding. Yeah, that's cool. Take it easy. All right. Now I still got to talk to Doc Mitchell, and then I guess we're ready to go handle this. Before I do, should combine my leather armor, which makes it a lot stronger. Back up to Doc Mitchell's. Did put repair up a little bit. I should go see if that gun is now available for me to repair now. Uh, what I'm looking for. Repair it. Now I got my gun. Where's he at? Hey, Doc. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. You're a good man, Doc. You take care now. Alright, so that completes all the optionals. Now we can go ahead and go meet up with uh, Sunny Smiles and uh, the idiot that we're protecting. Who's over here in the Poseidon Energy gas station. I forget if there's anything over here. There's not. Okay. And yes, I know I stole a magazine at Trudy's. I don't care. Ringo. Ringo. So what's going on? Did... Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Let's go. Easy P came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't... I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Let's do our thing. I think the first thing I'm going to do is going to try some dynamite. No, not at the big horn. fun. Take your shit. Take your shit. Take your shit. <laughs> take your shit. Definitely take your shit. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. You're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. Sure thing. Alright. I should hotkey some shit here. Uh... Build those up. 357, don't really need the baseball bat and shit. All 
right. Hotkey this to there. While I'm at it, I'll drink these up real quick. Just to get the bottle caps and all. Alright. And with that, we'll go ahead and we'll call this an episode. Thank you very much for checking it out uh, on the YouTube page. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment uh, down below on how you want me to play this game. We are going to get set up to take care of the uh, next part of Hello. the uh, quest, which is finding out who the hell the people were that shot me and left me in a grave over some platinum chip. So uh, we'll be back next week. Thank you very much. Have a good one, man. Three, two, one. Something went wrong. Save.